All right, welcome back. Today it's my newest project idea. Live edge cat hoppers. So, you're talking live edge here. This stuff's not cheap. And I have been racking my brain trying to figure out how to come up with a simple idea that's going to be sturdy and and mountable because you're going to need studs to mount it to and it has to be stable because I mean my cat Mavi absolutely thrashes stuff she'll eat a big old bowl of food and go tearing across the house and she she likes to eat and run and she'll just jump on something full speed ahead and 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 go crashing on it so I want it to be stable and it needs to be able to mount to the studs and I've been looking for brackets and I've been exploring the idea of making my own wood brackets um, and the stuff's not cheap. I mean, some of these brackets are ridiculous. They're wanting like $130 for an L bracket that's eight inches long. I mean, absolutely insane, but I'm just gonna go for it. Sometimes you just gotta dive in and go for it and just kinda get the ball rolling on it. So here we go. I'm gonna go pick out some wood the first live edge cat hoppers, there was my cat, she hears me. The first live edge cat hoppers are going to be cherry, I'm pretty sure. So, cherry live edge cat hoppers coming up. All right, I'm out here at my cherry patch. I'm looking for some good wood. This piece right here might be different. Okay, so that's the piece I've selected. Now I'm going to slice that thing into some live edge cat hoppers. It's got a rustic look to it, but uh, some of that might sand out of there. If it doesn't, I'm not too worried about it. The cats like them rough. Like I said right there guys, I'm going to let this footage play in real time because this is historic footage of the first Live Edge cat hoppers being born.
right, so here it is, folks. The first ever stack of live edge cat hoppers. Check it out. We lost the live edge on that one there. And these all need to be dried. So this is just an experiment. Now that's something else I wanted to say is once these dry, you can come back and varnish them and make them all shiny and and all varnished looking and everything. Um, but that takes a long time. I don't have a kiln and if you dry them too fast, they'll crack. So I'm just gonna hang them up as they are, sand them, put an L bracket on them and let them dry in the house. And then if I wanna come back like in a, later this year and, and sand them more and varnish them, I can do that. So here they are laid out. I just blew them off with the blower. They're not all perfect, but that's part of live edge right now until I get a sawmill or something. That one right there is really nice. I might sell that one. You know, I'll keep one for myself if it's not perfect. I don't care. That one's pretty nice. They're all pretty nice. That one's real nice here. It's got a knot on it, but the other side, you make that the top, bottom, whatever. So, pretty cool. Okay, friends, so... I'm playing with this one because it's just not perfect. It was a piece of firewood and it's not flat on one end and I lost a little bit of the... But this is the this is the concept. It's a cat hopper. I'm going to get some L brackets. They're on the way. So I'll see you back here in a few days when I get my L brackets. But I got some heavy duty L brackets and as long as I can get these things to be stable where a cat would be jumping on them. So you'll get that and then you'll just bolt it right to the studs and you can make little little cat hoppers up your wall make a little cat run they can get up there and sleep or whatever you could put them next to your coffee table next to your favorite chair at a cabin or something and not only have a cat hopper but a drink drink tray or whatever just stick it on the wall um and you could put them on scratching posts you could mount it on scratching posts and have, have they'll probably tear the live edge up but anyways, the, the uh, possibilities are endless. Um, I'm going to sign off for now. I'm waiting on the brackets to get here. I got them ordered. I'll check back in when the brackets get here, and we'll, we'll screw some into the brackets and see how stable they are. So give me a few days, and we'll report back. Okay. The cat hopper brackets are in. Now, this is an oak cat hopper, and I kind of like the oak cat hoppers. The brackets aren't as big as I thought. That's a six inch bracket. And it doesn't, I mean, it goes about, it's gonna go almost halfway across that oak. And that's a, that's just, I think that's pin oak. And it is heavy. But that'll make a nice little cat hopper right there. I think I'm gonna go with this one as one. The cherry are just so big. I made those massive cherry ones. One second. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a matching pair, but I also have this beach that I cut, and that'll make a nice little cat hopper. Um, it's it's lighter weight than this oak. This pin oak is heavy. These are lighter weight, and this would make a really nice cat hopper, but for some reason I'm feeling the oak. Um, and something else with beach, when you're cutting beach, you have to be careful with your dog. But if you see that line, that's the dogs digging through the bark. The beach bark is, is very tender. So the dogs put a line across the back of that one. But the good thing is, is that's the flat side. So if I made a cat hopper out of that, for my personal use, if you can see me, <clears throat> you could put the back side against the wall and you'd never see it. So it'd still be, I could still use that. That's a pretty nice cat hopper. It's that live edge. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get to sanding on these right now and get these hung up tonight and finish this video, I think. These are heavy. I also have some heavier duty bolts on the way, but I think I'm gonna make this oak into one right there. That'll be a nice little cat hopper, a live edge. So, Smells good too. I love a nice fresh cut pile of oak. I just walked past it. I got a whole, I got, I got a quarter oak out there. I just cut it. Smells awesome. 
So let me get a little sanding on this and uh, I'm not gonna go too crazy because it's, it's really just meant to be a rustic look. It's that live edge. She wants her cat hopper, she's in the window. That's nice and smooth. These, these are rough cut with a chainsaw, but... I just want to get them smooth, nice and smooth, and get the burrs off of them. It's that live edge. Okay, I'm gonna rinse these off with some water. You can see, I mean, they were cut with a chainsaw, but I'm gonna rinse them off with some water. They're real smooth now. There's no burrs, nothing. And I'm gonna rinse them off, let them dry and hang them up. I'm heavy. Okay, I'm gonna rinse these things off in the sink. Um, now these are rustic, but Cats don't care about perfect. Cats play with cardboard boxes. They like nature. They like rustic thing, rustic things. So they're gonna love these. It's gonna be great. So here she comes. She wants to check it out already. Watch this. She smells that oak. She'll be playing with it. All right, so I'm here at the sink. I'm just gonna rinse these things off and sponge them off with a rag and get the sawdust out of them and uh, we'll hang them up. Look, she's licking it. So there's a clean cat hopper. I mean, come on, Kyle, that's beautiful. So that's a clean one. Here's what it looks like when it's been sanded and here's clean. So we're gonna throw some water on this thing. Watch it come to life, man. Watch this. Oh yeah. That's gorgeous. Get that sawdust out of there. That is some pretty wood. That is a nice cat hopper. All right, so, a little water. Kind of wipe them off a little bit here. Oh, that's just gorgeous. I like these oak cat hoppers. Oh, look at that live edge. It's got some lichens on it. Oh, it, the cats are going to love this. Okay. We're getting there. dry these off here. We're really close to hanging these things up. <laughs> Mavi likes oak. Okay, Mavi. She's gonna love these things. <laughs> That's why I'm not going to use any oils or anything on this. Just all natural wood. Um, I could finish this with some boiled linseed oil or even some of the some of the bowl 
polishes and things for wood turning. If you read them, it says harmful if ingested and all this stuff on it. So you put it on a salad bowl and it's harmful if ingested. I mean, I know it dries and it, the wood soaks it up and stuff, but I, I just don't really see a need for that at this point. I mean, I may, I may put some finishes on some of them and once they dry, because this is rough cut green lumber, after it dries for six months or so, I could come back with some epoxy and epoxy them and make them just glass smooth. So there's all kinds of options and I may do that, but you can see why I don't really want to put uh, any chemicals on them right now. She's going to jump on these things and lick them and roll around on them and everything else. And it's just wood. It's not going to hurt her. It's just wood. So I am interested in using some epoxy on them, but it will take at least six or eight months to dry. And, you know, at that point in time, I can take one down off the wall and cover it in epoxy. Okay, I guess I guess I can show you all this. I'm just using these screws for now, but I have thicker screws on the way, but that's actually really solid. That's not gonna go anywhere. I mean, that is solid. I'm actually really happy with that. So there's a cat hopper. Woo, <laughs> first cat hopper. All right, let's make another one and then we'll hang them up. Okay, I just eyeball it, you know. This needs to go about. Um, excuse me. <laughs> that needs to go about right here. Now this is kind of a weird shaped piece of wood. I mean, there's a. I'm already learning a lot. I wish I wouldn't have cut this little branch. There was a branch coming off here. And it would have made a nice little live edge, kind of a nub sticking out, kind of an. But because I cut it off, I want that to be on the back. Well, there's another one right here I cut off. Shoot. So I don't know how to I don't know how I'm gonna position this one. I think that needs to be the back right there. This is flat right here. And it sticks out, but I mean, that's the thing too. It sticks out so far, you want the bracket to be able to support it. And the bracket's only that long. I mean, I really, I could really maybe use longer brackets, but the, the, uh, the, the larger bolts will help. Or I could turn it that way to where it's not so, yeah, that way's probably better than one of those nubs is blocked. Well, shoot, then that other nub is right on the front. I'm gonna mount it that way. I'm just gonna put it right here. Right here. I'm just going with it. These are the first, these are the first cat hoppers. This is kind of a, uh, it's function over form. It's gonna be functional. It's the very first cat hopper. I'm learn I'll learn all of these little tricks as I go here. So that looks pretty centered. I'm just gonna go with it right here.
first cat hopper is going to go somewhere in this area because she comes off of her cat run. The mantle here is part of her cat run. Then she can go here. She wants to come up here right now. Come on. Then she goes here. Then I'm thinking she can jump here. And then I'll put another one up here. Uh, sorry, you can't see. I put another one up there over the mirror. And then eventually I'll make two more when I buy more brackets and she can hop down all the way. But at least now she'll be able to get up there and get real high and, and sit up there because she loves to do that. She loves to, after she eats, she runs all over and jumps up high. So she can sit up there and look out over everything. Let's see if I can put one somewhere in this area so she can go from here to here. There should be a stud right there. We'll put one like right here. Well, I'm not ready. I have to put a little boop on the wall. Yeah, I can see that. I'm just going to drill into it and see if there's a stud there. If there's not, um, I'll have to either cover it up with this, cover it up, or I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just have to put a little dab of paint on it, whatever. You saw me do that to, in my kitchen in my previous video, fixing drywall. If you want to learn how to fix drywall like an amateur, uh, check out my drywall video. We have hit a stud. Oh, or not. Well, what the? Okay, this thing is freaking crazy. Saying there's a stud here. Gosh darn it. Now if you get down. Now it's saying there's a stud here. Okay, this thing is crazy. Once again, it's saying there's a stud right here. Let me move over a little bit. Oh, there's something in there. All right. Great. I'm 
start drilling through something. That didn't. That ain't good. I don't know what I just drilled through. I mean, it's telling me there's a. It's doing it again. I'm just gonna have to keep going. That's not a stud. There's something right here. Ladies and gentlemen, the first cat hopper. Now I'm gonna test this and see if she can jump up there. I got it a little bit high, but my cat's a jumper, so she might be able to make it. We're gonna test it and see. Come here. Yay, Ravi! <laughs> I'm gonna hang the other one up somewhere. Where should I put the second one? Should I put the second one over here, level, or right there by the fireplace? Real close. I say we go, I say we go high with it, man. Let's go high. My dream has come to life. Let's see if she's gonna hop on that thing. Good girl! <laughs> Woo! Hey. You need two more. It's the end of the road right now, Mavi. No, no, no. Mavi? No, no. Mavi, no! My goodness. All right, those are the first two Cat Hopper prototypes. And like I said, I'm gonna put better screws on them. I've learned a lot about keeping the bark clean if you're gonna leave the bark on. Some of them can be barkless. And then also, if there's like a little stick or a branch coming off, I might not shave that off. I might leave it as a little nub. I might leave it as a little nub. I think that's what that was as a branch, and I shaved it off with a chainsaw. 
but it would look really neat if it had like a little a little stick just kind of coming out and cut off. That would look cool too for the live edge. But these are just the first two prototypes. Those are made out of oak. And that one's not perfect. I cut it with a chainsaw. That was an end cut. That one's a little bit thicker. That's a nice, thick, heavy oak one. So she comes running all the way down the mantle. And then she jumps from here up to here to here. And then she's going to want to, she wants to keep going. And she's already jumped off. She's jumping from there to the floor, which she can do it. It doesn't really hurt her. But um, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to make two more and put one like here and then come over to this wall here. And I mean, she will come and hit that thing and bounce from here over to there, up to there. I mean, she'll eat her bowl of food for dinner and come running across the den and, and jump off of this thing like a hurdler and bounce off that wall parkour style and jump from here to here to here and just run all across, run all around. So I think that's gonna be what I do with the next two. I have more brackets on the way. I was just testing brackets to see but I'm gonna make two more. So the next one will go right in that area and then another one right over in here. That'd make a nice cat hopper right there. Uh-huh, that's coming up next. Place your orders for that cedar cat hopper there.